Good morning, good evening, good night. This is Andrew 4 and I'm bringing you a video tutorial tip, a toolbox for Way of the Hunter. So, we're going to hop right into this. This is a toolbox. I'm going to have to give some props out to Nik Nikibu. Hopefully I'm saying his name right or her name right. He is the creator of this. He's on the official Way of the Hunter Discord channel. And um, so, yeah, so he created this. Uh, he's got a link I'll put in Steam, and you basically it'll open up. It's just a guide. It uh, will have the actual link to down or not even download. It opens up in a browser, so it's a browser tab, and you can have it open on your second display if you're on a PC or on your phone, if you're you know on a console or anything like that. That way you can just have it, and I'll go through it real quick. Um, it's a really cool tool and will be very helpful to a lot of people. So I appreciate it. But I'll get right into it. So this is the toolbox. Basically it's called Way of the Hunter Toolbox. We'll start with the animal tab. Let's say you're hunting for, I don't know, we'll just say American Black Bear. It's gonna show 50 all the way up to 300 meters, from 50 meters to 300 basically. It says tier six animal recommendation hit energy between you know between those two energies. It'll show you what gun guns will do it. So like right here, the Remington 1903, the 30-06, good gun, all green across the board at that at all distances. So you're not if it if orange is on this side, I've, I'm pretty sure this is how it works. If orange is on this side, it means it's overpowered, right on entry. So we'll we'll do. Uh, I don't know, the rabbit, or... Kind of hard to find one. I found one earlier. I think it was for whitetail deer. Yeah, so, like, right here. If you're at 50 meters at whitetail deer, too much power. I mean, it's going to work. It'll take the deer down and probably take it down even quicker. But uh, it's going to be... Uh, you'll you'll end up destroying a lot more meat. So when you go to sell the deer, process it, it... Uh, you won't get as much money back at that range. Once you get to 100 yard or 100 meters, then you're good. Uh, same with um, over here. So at this range, at 150, not enough power. It drops below. This gun does the 223 win. It's too low at 150 to 200 meters, and is suggested not to use it all at 300 meters. So these will do the job. It's just not going to have as much power, but they'll do the job. And then same like right here. So this is a 350 uh, rim mag. Wouldn't even use it. Too much power. And then right here, too much power, but okay. And then this is green. Good to go. But that you're looking at 300 meters. So, and that's what I was saying about the 300 wind mag. The Remington 700 long in one of my other videos is for whitetail, you will destroy like 40 pounds, 50 pounds of meat. It says not to use it, period. I've used it because, well, I have. And uh, yeah, it, it 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 basically just wastes so much meat. So that's the that's the animals tab. You click on any animal, tell you which weapons uh, are good for it. Basically, Ty, you know best best for it. We'll go to firearms. Here you can choose a firearm. Let's say you want to buy um, 243. Right? Okay. You can look at it. It's tier five gun, bolt action, road deer. Barely enough power at, uh, too much power at 200 meters, but perfect at 300. Way too much. It'll do a lot, a lot of damage. I mean, when I say too much, I mean, it's going to take the animal down. So if you're just looking to kill one, that it'll do it and do it quick and efficiently, but it's going to destroy a lot of the meat. So if it's like a trophy buck, go for it. Now, for basically all tier 5 animals, it's green across the board. You're good to go. And then when it gets to bigger game, like black bear, green there, but barely enough power at, you know, 150 meters. Moose, it'll work, but you better hit a good shot because it's not going to penetrate all the way through. Red deer, pretty good for most shots if you're close. 150 meters or more or uh, less. I mean, even 200 really uh, if, you, if you can hit it clean. But yeah, so that's how that works. It's real simple. You know, choose whatever gun you want. It'll tell you what animals it's great for. Life cycle. This is going to show every animal when it sleeps, when it eats, when it needs water, 
what times, everything. So this is awesome. It is all separated by tiers of the animals. Then you got the maps. This is one of my favorite parts. So the map, they have one for Nez Pierce Valley and Transylvania. So you can zoom in. And you can actually tell it what you want to see in there with, by clicking the little eye and emblem over to the side, which you cannot fully see. There you go. So the little eye emblem pops up. And you can shoot, tell it not to show cabins or, you know, basically tell it what you want to see. If you only want to see badgers and then click on, like, American Black Bear also, you can do that. So we'll just put it on... One of my favorites, Whitetail. So now, if you click on one of these, Whitetail is going to show its eating areas, right? Eating zones. Um, when you do this, it's not going to tell you, you know, which one it is if it's more active than others because there's no way for this to know. It's kind of dependent on how you play. You could run them off of being a non-active one and make this an active one. So, But what you can do on PC, shift and left click, and now you can drop tag basically on this deer so you could say you know rating uh white tailed deer description put a description there age if you let's say you have a you know an adult that's a m a four star basically there's a female m4 we'll say it's adult four star or adult three star and you want to keep track of that you can put a tag there and it's going to make a marker you can change the color or anything like that and uh when you do that um you need to click ok when you make changes and it'll save it uh, so yeah, so when you do that, it'll basically, you could change the color of that deer so you know there's a marker on it that you're keeping track of that herd. And let's say you haven't been back in a couple days or, you know, then you know you need to go check because that adult, and th you know, three star might be a mature four or five star now. So that's, this is an amazing tool and I really appreciate uh, Naboo for making this because this is going to be a lifesaver. Number one, it helps if you haven't discovered the area helps largely with finding where these herds are like there's three herds right here of whitetail all in this cluster so with all different eating sleeping drinking habits so it just makes it a lot easier um if you you know want to find out where if you're only one to hunt a specific species even if you don't even if you just want to see all the species and just go get them all so yeah this is basically a, a really awesome tool and i appreciate like I said, I appreciate it being made. If y'all enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to create, uh, keep creating more content for y'all. And um, leave in the comments what you think about this. And I will in the description, I will leave a link to the, di uh, not Discord, to the um, Steam community page for this. And uh, But yeah, so I appreciate it. Everyone have a good evening, good night, and good morning. Peace out.